Hello my SOC universe, the international break is now officially over, which leaves me with one day between international break and club uh, games again. So how, how do we bridge it? Well, how about another shirt from my collection? I'm gonna go with a new one that I got uh, actually on uh, New Year's Eve uh, this year. That's when it arrived in, in the mail. I bought it actually before Christmas. And it's one of the winners of the international break. Um, you thought after the friendly Germany against Serbia, Germany is in trouble and then they beat my beloved Dutch 3-2 uh, in Amsterdam. The shirt we're looking at is not the current one, it's the one from 2014. Um, and hey, this is my first Germany shirt. And I never thought I would have a Germany shirt. I, it's just more or less through this channel that I thought, yeah, I guess I gotta get a Germany shirt to be able to cover a little bit more, you know. Uh, you gotta have all the big nations. And this shirt also fits really, really nicely in my collection for the simple reason that now I have, of all uh, semi-finalists of the 2014 World Cup, I have a jersey. Um, let me show you, just a sec. So, we have here the winners, Germany. The runner-up from Argentina. Third place team, the Netherlands. It's all the home jerseys, uh, which in a way makes sense. And... Fourth place and host, Brazil. They should have played that famous 7-1 game in this matchup. I still maintain. No, we had Germany playing in the red and black, which I actually also like. I have to say the last two World Cup home shirts of Germany were really nice to look at. Um, I like the one from 2018 even better, but I like the black and red stripes. Um, it also means that I think I have since 2000, I have a more uh, tournament winning shirts. I have two from 2004 to 1918. Uh, I have now all of them. So that's another plus. I have Greece right here. The Italy one is hanging now in the closet. Uh, I have the Spain 2008, which is here. Uh, Spain 10 closet, 12 closet, 14, 16 Portugal is also in the closet and uh, 18 France. Right here. So, as I said, it fits perfectly in the collection. Um, yes, I'm not a Germany fan, but when I look at this shirt, hey, I got it for five bucks plus shipping, but I don't count it. Five bucks, and it's in super condition. This was barely ever worn, didn't have even have in any stains. Um, and as much as I didn't like the design initially, I have to say, when I the few times I wear it and I look at it, it's a really great looking shirt. Uh, it invokes the memory of the 1990 shirt, but with a modern twist, and I really like that uh, this is kind of a modern take on a Germany shirt that is befitting to the team which played a modern style. It's away from, from the old style, you know, just fighting with uh, three at the back, where one is the Libero, uh, now in a more aggressive pressing style, so I really thought it's befitting that they also get a new look, and maybe the all-white look wasn't all, all perfect, but I have to say the, the jersey really nice looking. Let's look at the details. Uh, first and foremost the crest, which in this case just a plastic transfer um, with the stars. The pattern is also interesting. Um, look, before up until then there was always the German flag in there and now they have only made it three shades of red, kind of like a German flag, but the German flag is still there. Black, red, gold. So it is intrinsically there. It's actually the last time that they really did this. Uh, there's also another German flag here on this arc that the Adidas jerseys had. So it is there. It also says Die Nationalmannschaft, which means the national team. Um, the style is, you know, kind of a v-neck. I don't understand why the red outline doesn't go all the way to the front, but I really like this red outline. Especially looks great here on the back. I mean, I'm a Milan fan. This combination really makes it work every single time. It repeats at the sleeve cuffs, both sides. And then maybe this could have been a little bit different. On the side, there's also this, dry, uh, this band, and this is just silver and black. I think this should have been probably 
the same as this one. The Argentina shirt has both the same. Um, yeah, and that's the shirt they won. It cost me some pain because I really want Argentina to win that World Cup. But to be honest, it was Germany's time as well. Uh, that team needed to win a big title. I also find it interesting, if you look at the pattern, that it's not only this pattern, there's also a little bit this shadow striping, which gives an additional sense of motion and forward movement, which really makes this a great looking shirt. I'm not gonna wear it a lot out, and well, I might wear it at home and for some videos, because you know, it is Germany, you don't wear the shirt of your I don't want to say any enemy, but biggest rival, but it's a great looking shirt and it fits very well in my collection, so I'm happy to have it. Uh, I almost bought a second Germany shirt not too long ago, this was the green away jersey. I just decided to wait around and then it was sold in my size, so there you go, I keep this one. Let me know what you think about this jersey. I know it's contentious, I made a lot of fun of it when I was writing my review for it but the more I look at it the more I like it and I think this is a look that Germany probably could use going forward. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more jersey related videos like this one. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.